So let's try out this wrench and see how it does. It is definitely faster than the little welding torch. All right, that's awesome. That's actually very fast. Uh, I would say that's as fast as the original salvage, um, you know, salvage tool. Look at that, guys. That's awesome. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn Experimental. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do something. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to do something in this episode. Uh, it's been a couple days, actually, since I last played. I got uh, a few episodes ahead of you guys, uh, so I've been doing some other stuff, uh, but I wanted to play for a little bit tonight. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh boy, okay, so where did we leave off here? Let's take a look at our inventory. Um, so we've got some silver. Yeah, I think I had to go mine silver to do something uh, in the last episode when I left you guys. Uh, I think it was to make the chem bench, right? I think we need, we wanted to make the chemistry station because we have to figure out how to make batteries. Uh, we can make power cells, but we can't make batteries and those are apparently different things. Now, we can also upgrade this. Uh, should No, we need... Yeah, that's right. We needed the battery to upgrade this. Okay. So, let's see here. Um, this we've already upgraded. So, yeah. We upgraded this so we can make the guns. But we can't make the assault rifle until we get Zerk, Zirconia, which I'm assuming is what we need to make Zerk alloy. I don't know if that is on Proteus or if we have to go to one of the other planets... Uh, you had to go to, you had to go to, um, uh, the moon, not, not, uh, not Aziel, but the other one, which the name of it escapes me right at the moment <laughs> to get that in the release version or the stable version, I should say. So, uh, I don't know if that's the case here or not, but I guess we'll find out. So let's see, let's go into here and, uh, we want to, we wanted to make the chemical station and, uh, the thing we needed to make was the dimaloy. I think that's the one we weren't able to make. It was either that or the derluminum. Uh, so let's see. Can we? Uh, let's see what we actually have for ingots first before we do anything else. Okay, so we have derluminum, so we're good to go on that. I think it was the. What is this? This is the. Oh, that 6L4V stuff. Okay. And that's bronze. So we need to make. Uh, a thing of dimalloy, and yeah, I think that is what we needed the silver for. Okay, so let's grab some copper. It's going to be in one of these. I think it's in this one here. Yep. Okay, and then uh, we can make a dimalloy. I'm I'm kind of digging the new uh, the new system here, where you know instead of making ingots of elements, we make alloys, which is cool. It just adds more immersion to the game. It's a little more work, but that's okay. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. What's next? Utilities. Uh, Kim Station. Okay, so we got that. Did I, um, uh, didn't we make the NICR thingamadoodle? I think we did, but we used it on something else. All right, so what do we need for that? That we have to make here in the furnace. We need nickel and carbon for that. Okay, we shouldn't have a problem with either one of those things. We got carbon there. And we have nickel somewhere. I know I have nickel. Let's turn our light off and let's also redo our settings here so we get rid of the bloom. All right, what did I do with the nickel? I know I have it. I just don't know where it is. Is it, wait, is it in my inventory? No, nope, it's not in my inventory. It's not in there. Not in there. Not in there. There it is. I knew we had some nickel. I knew we had some nickel. All right, let's go back here, and we're going to make one of these NICR thingamadoodles. Nickel chromium, nickel carbon blocks, things. What's next? We need a circuit board, a power cell, and some electrum. So let's look down here. 
Okay, we're going to need to make a circuit board. So we have some broken ones. We turn those into normals by adding wire. Oops. Okay. Uh, so we have four broken, so we should turn that into two normals. What's next? Utilities, chem station, power cell, and electrum. I have some power cells in uh, here. And do we have any electrum? That's brass. It looks like we need to make some electrum. To do that, we need... Uh, we need to grab some gold which I think is going to be in here. Uh, sulfur, gold. We're kind of low on gold, uh, so we might need to go mine some more of that up. Oh, and some molybdenum. Molybdenum. Open up. Aluminum, zinc. Aluminum, molybdenum. There we go. Say that. Say that three times really fast. We lived in them. All right. What's left? Utilities, chem station. We need two things of steel and four things of glass. Glass is right here. And steel. I've made a whole bunch of steel. Where have I put in it? Where have I placed it is what I meant to say. Not put in it. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with my brain today. Uh, all right. And I think that's it. I think we can make the chem station. So let's just plop that down right on over here. And we'll turn it like so. All right. Now, can we make batteries in here? Uh, oh, we, so we still have, we still make hydrazine. Okay. So rubber and plastic... Ooh, plastic has changed. Rubber is still carbon and hydrogen. It used to be hydrogen and chlorine, right? Now it's carbon and hydrogen. And plastic requires sulfur, methane, and lead to make. How interesting. This is new adhesive. It's used in the fabrication of patch tape. Okay, we'll probably never do that because... Explosive? That looks like a bundle of cloth. I think uh, work in progress on that. <laughs> all right, we don't really get a whole lot out of here, man. It's, for for all the crap we had to, to make, you know, put together to make this, it doesn't give us a whole lot. And they've definitely changed these recipes, too. Okay, well, now we know. Now we know. So, I think probably what we should start doing in this episode is start working on getting our habitat put together. Now, we we could also make a depository, uh, and we'll want to do that at some point. So, yeah, so we've made all the basic stuff. So, yeah, I think this is the next most logical thing to start working on is the habitat. So let's do it. We've got all the prerequisites done for it already. So, all right, we are going to need rubber. Here. Okay, so we have 17 rubber. How much do I need structures? Uh, only 10. Okay, so we're going to need 12 zamok. I don't think we have that much. We have, never mind. I sit corrected. You get these from uh, from salvaging the uprights on, uh, you know, on the old habitats that are out in the world that you can salvage. I'm, I'm surprised though I had that many. All right, what else? Uh, we need four wires, which we have. We need five aluminum nuggets. Just grab that whole stack there, okay? And then we need we uh, we have everything. We have everything. Those, we have another one coming through. None of them are close. All right, so let's hop on out here. Or not.
All right, so here's what I'm thinking for the habitat. This is going to remain our outdoor work area for the whole duration of this playthrough. So I'd like the ramp of the habitat to kind of come down into this area. Uh, which means we're going to probably, if we kind of put it up against the cliff face here, then we can do like the biodome out the back and we could do the barracks out probably to this side or vice versa. Um, that's kind of what's in my brain. So that means we want to be facing this way when we set the habitat down ish. All right. So let's, we got a, a minotaur over there. He did. Oh, he spawned inside the rock. Oh, too, too bad for him. Too bad for him. Okay, so we want to turn it this way because the airlock will come out this side and it's gonna I wish I wish we could have fine-tune rotation in this game right instead of I mean we basically have like what, what is it 22 degree rotation and we can't go any 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 different than that um, all right. Well, if we put the habitat here. Here, let's, this is this would be where we would want to extend it out. I mean, I mean, assuming we keep everything even, which we don't technically have to do. But maybe what we should do is actually be looking at it then from this side. We want the ramp to go down into the work area. So probably somewhere right about in here-ish is what I'm thinking we want. And we want to, we, we do want it up in the air a bit, of, well, mostly to be up above that part of the ground. So maybe right about here-ish, I'm thinking. Okay, yep, let's do it. Okay. It's a done deal, man. It is a done deal. All right. So, yeah, um, we'll send. This comes in here. We'll probably build either the biodome or the barracks out this way. And then the other one we can build out this way or you know whatever makes sense um okay so the next thing we need is the airlock so what do we need to make that structures airlock we need a computer screen plastic and two electrums we have everything else already all right so for a computer screen we want uh, one of these and let's see, we need, I think we need wire and a circuit board. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so that gives us the computer screen. And then it sets two electrum. We have two right there. I've never found dirty water. I wonder where you find that at. So that it give us everything we need for this. Oh, and two plastic. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the airlock in place. This time we're building it all the way. So we don't have partially built structures okay cool um so i think for the time being 
Um, what we're going to do is we're going to move the rock wall uh, on this side back to here. Okay, so let's get... Oh, we wanted to we wanted to try the wrench out too for for salvage. Let's remove these two rock walls, and then we're gonna come over here and go to defenses and rock wall. How about if we hold it? Let's see. I'm trying to think if um. If I wanted to use this area for something else, but the ground's not very even, so that's not the best scenario. If we turn it this way. Now, I think we better keep it turned this way. And right about here, before the ground starts to go down, I think is this this is where we'll We'll put it now this is still temporary because you know we're going to set up a dome as soon as we can okay and then we'll just we should be able to just pop this one in here why isn't it going in there it showed green a minute ago ah okay it's not going to behave is it can we turn it at an angle this way e oh yeah we just had it there a second there we go that works the other thing we could have done is is put a a couple of pillars in there to keep that straight though. But yeah, I think this will work for now. Okay, so that keeps that side secured. Um now let's expand this out to here. So we sh I, do I have any you know what? I think I ended up throwing all my stone away. Um just because you know, it's just running out of room and we didn't have very much of it. So, yeah, I mean, it's not that hard to get. We just need to find a couple of stone outcroppings. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, dismantle this wall here. And then we just want to bring the wall over to the edge of the, the airlock. Now, I wonder too, should we, let's take this one up as well. Yeah, we'll just run them uh, from, from here on over. Hopefully I'll, I'll have enough stone to do this. Wait, what just happened? Defenses, stone. There, that was weird. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's just run them here. They don't have to be butted up exactly but uh, just enough to keep the monsters from getting through the gaps oh well I guess we can accomplish this with just two for now well, fine by me again these are temporary so it's not a big deal if that they're not placed perfectly or whatever that even means all right let's escape from there there we go once we do get the, the actual dome in place, too, I'm going to re completely redo all of this and make it look good. Uh, but we still need to, you know, stay protected because I have been ganked by a bunch of baddies uh, all at once and not had, um, you know, enough food, stamina, whatever to, to fight them off. So uh, most of the time it's not a big deal. I can handle it, but sometimes it does get a bit overwhelming. So, all right, guys, I think the next step is to... Start building the wall, so let's see what that's going to require. So, cloth wall. I think we just want to go with normal wall. So, we're going to need... Oh, wow, we're going to need wire. Interesting. We're going to need Zamok, aluminum, and wire. Okay, what do we need to make wire? I mean, to make actual wire, not not the scrap stuff. Where do we even do that? Do we do that in here? No. Do we do it in here? Yes. So we need copper, gold, and rubber. Okay. 
Well, I can tell right now I'm going to be really short on rubber. Oh, crap. we got a whole bunch of points to spend. Okay, let's pump up health, stamina, and there we go. These points I'm not worrying about. We're, we're just not... We're, pay, we're not ignoring them in experimental because, you know, they don't work. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to drop everything back off again. And we're going to go salvage and we're going to try the wrench out. Um, and I'm just going to go see if I can get some of these materials from salvage just so I don't have to make all of it. Because it, it, it seems... Put that away. Things seem to be a little more expensive now. And again, in, I'm okay with that in principle. But on the other hand, um, you know, we need to be as frugal as we can here too. So, all right. Let's go um, do some salvaging to get some more of these parts and try out the wrench. So... Uh, where do we want to go? There's plenty of unsalvaged stuff around still. I just got to remember where it's all at. Um, all right, let's go south. Detected. Get away from me, you stupid wasps. Okay, so let's try out this wrench and see how it does. It is definitely faster than the little welding torch. All right, that's awesome. That's actually very fast. Uh, I would say that's damn near as fast as the original salvage um you know salvage tool look at that guys that's awesome all right yeah can highly recommend um building the wrench as a salvage tool very worth it this is so nice after using that crappy super slow welder for so long okay we gotta a windstorm coming in. Okay, so um, if you dismantle these, they pretty much always give you Zamox. That's why I wanted to come here. Let's crouch down to get that so that we can uh, use it to build our new habitat. What do we got in here? Storms don't really do very much damage. They're more of a nuisance than a threat. But one of the things I'm thinking about doing, I, I don't know if I'll do it on experimental or when they when they do the next stable release, but um, I'm thinking about doing a, a hardcore playthrough where we turn up, you know, the damage from storms. We make them longer. We make the aliens hit harder and make them tougher. You know, just to have a bit of a challenge, because right now it's just, you know, it's not that big of a deal, really. <laughs> and it should be. Uh, so, yeah, I'm thinking about that. Not sure when we'll do that. And again, I, I probably, for something like that, would probably prefer to do it on, a, you know, a stable um, release of the game. But, we'll, you know, we'll see. We'll see. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but uh, it is in my mind to, to do that. If we're going to have a, a scary sandstorm, the damn thing needs to hurt. Otherwise, what's the point? It's just being being a nuisance, like I said, you know? Okay, let's take the, um, the frame apart. And we got one more panel here. And I think that's it. So what all did we get? Let's take a look. We got three wires, one broken circuit board, two LCD screens, some power cells, a few nug or ingots, and pretty much all these nuggets that you see. And some other stuff. Okay. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Um, oh, here's one more thing. Now, I think there's more 
stuff to salvage. Oh yeah, okay, so we got a uh, we got a rover here, so let's grab this. This is always good to take apart. All right, that's it for that guy. Let's run over here. Oh, dog on it. Let's not run into an urchin. System restored. That's not recommended. I think there's another collection of, of broken buildings somewhere around here. Oh shit. Trying to remember where it is. It might be over this way. What's this? Copper. You know, I actually want to grab some copper. I don't have a lot of it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Another game I was thinking about uh, trying out is uh, Satisfactory. I've actually never played that game, and it's one of those games that um, I've always wanted to play, but kind of wanted to wait until there was more stuff to do in it. And from what I understand with uh, what they're calling Update 4, I think it is, which has actually been out for a while now, uh, there's like a ton of stuff to do in it. But Satisfactory is one of those games that it just it seems like there's so much to it, you know? And, and um, maybe there isn't. I mean, and what I what I mean by that, I'm talking about learning curve, not content in the game. Um, you know, I, I've I've watched a couple of YouTube videos, and I see these massive, massive factories, and I'm going, oh my god, where do you even, you know, start with something like that? So, anyway, thinking about maybe doing that at some point here in the near future. Uh, if you guys are uh, interested in seeing me play that, definitely let me know in the comments. And also, if, if you can recommend um, some good tutorials on it, um, I wouldn't mind, you know, kind of boning up on it a little bit. Because I don't think I don't think I would enjoy that particular game by just going in, you know, straight up blind. I'd like to kind of at least have a little bit of a clue about what I'm doing before I, I start playing it, you know. So, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. If you want to if you want to see me play Satisfactory and also... Uh, you know, let me know if there's some good tutorials um, uh, that I could watch uh, for it to, to just kind of, you know, get my brain around the game a little bit more. Okay, we're back at camp. Let's go ahead and make as much wire as we can with the scrap wire that we got. And we'll turn all that into cro cloth bundles. Over here, we should be able to make rubber and plastic and glass. Oh, look at all the all that too that we got. We <laughs> we need more storage space. Can I make here? Let's let's look at making the this. So what do we need? We need steel, nickel, rubber, gun metal, and a computer screen. Okay, so where do we want to put this bad boy? I'd kind of like to put it down where we're gonna permanently keep it. Um, because, you know, all that stuff we're going to redo. So how about if we put it over maybe right in here where the panel, well, yeah, I'd kind of like to put it along the wall. So let's pack this up, pack it. Small solar panel must be at full health. Oh! Oh, at full health. Um, how do I repair it? Oh, with this. Okay. Yeah, it still goes into the ground. Interesting. Uh, pick up. There we go. That's all I needed to do was repair it all along. I thought, <laughs> I thought it wasn't letting me pick it up because I was so encumbered. 
All right, now we know. Let's go here and here and here, and we're gonna put you right here. And now, hopefully we can scooch in our repository. Oh, we just put a bunch of shit away that we need for it now. Ah, crap. Nothing's ever easy, man. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I can hold it out to here, but that's going to be too far out. Can we put it in this way? Yeah, I don't really want to put it in that way. Now I'm wishing this wasn't in the way. But that thing was a pain in the ass to build, so we're not we're not picking that up anytime soon. Alright, well, I, I have two options. I can either hold it way out here, or we can put it in long ways. Like so. I think that's the lesser of two evils. Look at that, our first depository. It's actually all the way in the in the rock too. Okay, cool. Now we've got some actual real bona fide storage space. It's a beautiful thing. Let's drink this. Let's eat some of this. And now let's see how many walls we can build. Unable to pressurize. Airlock panel missing. Please check. Oh, right. That's right. We got to build these. I always forget to do that. Okay, so we need plastic, zamok, and duralumin. And we're going to need six sets of that stuff. All right, guys, so we got the habitat wall done, but I need um, uh, to do the, do the normal walls right here. Um, I'm going to need to go get some more, you know, more stuff to make the Zamok and more stuff to make the wire. So I think I'm going to let you go here. And what I'm going to do uh, is work off camera uh, to get all the walls in place of the habitat. And then, you know, start looking at the stuff, excuse me, the stuff that we need to uh, to furnish it with. And so at some point, I will bring you guys back uh, and we will we'll continue on. I might go do some more salvaging too, but, uh, you know, what we need is is, is wire. Um, I, I got to go mine a, bu a bunch more gold for that. Uh, so we need to make the wire and we need to make a bunch of... Uh, Zamok, which is zinc, magnesium, copper, and aluminum. So, yeah, a bunch of mining off camera, and then, like I said, I'll get all the walls in place on the on the habitat, and then um, after that is done, I probably uh, will bring you guys back at that point, and we will um, resume the series. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.